Okay. So all of you want to know what a good knife is. Here's a knife. Nice and thin. Cuts everything. Made of really good steel, M4. This is the Benchmade bug out. That could be a good knife for everybody. It'll do its job. But this thing can bend and it can break. And it's only good at basically just cutting packages and a few things. But then people say that this is the best knife. This here is a really pricey knife. I mean, it's really good. What it does is it cuts really well. All of this hardware can be taken apart easily. Um, has a good grip for close work. Has a good grip for here. Has a good grip here. Has jimping. You know, titanium. Nice blade steel. Thick stock that can't be broken. It's a stainless. I mean, here's a bigger version. This is like my hiking version. Same thing. Thick. Thick knife. Like, if you want to see the thick thickness comparison to the bug out. Like, look at that. <laughs> That's a big difference. It's a big difference. But... These knives, they're a bit pricey. Um, they're really good. Like these knives, you'll have this for the rest of your life. You won't ever, you won't ever have to worry. Um, but you do have to worry about blade chipping if you're hard on knives. But for some people, that works good. But there's one knife that is less expensive and better than all. this thing this is the mini version of a knife called the Adamas and it's made by a company called Benchmade that's their logo it basically comes in one of the best steels of all time crew wear like this comes in a steel called 20 CV best stainless steel this steel is not a stainless steel. This is a coated tool steel knife. It's a bit thinner than the equivalent. So here's the equivalent size um, hinderer knife. It's a bit thinner than a hinderer knife, which means it'll cut a bit better. And both are thick, both are strong. Um, and it has a different lock. It has this lock called the axis lock. Like this here has a lock called the liner. And the liner pretty much lasts for forever until the detent balls wear out. And, but the thing is too is like, you know, the potential to cut your thumb off, right? On the same on this one, like a bigger knife, potential to cut your thumb off. But the way the way an axis lock works is with an axis lock to close it you have to hold it like this you know like you have to basically clear the blade to close it if you're doing it properly so it makes it very safe and also here's the hand air goes it fit this is a 3.25 inch knife and it fits my whole hand so the handles a good length um, this knife, I've taken it in water lots, it's been in my pocket for a long time, it actually didn't rust, I mean what I do is I just basically dry it out, and then maybe put some WD-40 in this area, um, yeah, I mean th this knife's been out for a couple of years, this is just a red my car version, that's why it's limited, but you know, I striked a few fires with the spine, this is a great spine for striking fair rods, by the way. <laughs> but if you want to know how much I like this knife, here's how much. I have two. And the reason why 
is because when I first used this knife, the first version I ever used, um, what happened was, oh, hit each other with that. Oh, I gotta, oh, no scratches. What happened was, uh, I basically was so impressed with the first version that I sold to my friend because he really wanted one and I had the full size that I said I would wait to see if this one came to Canada which is a, a blade show exclusive because it has my card of handles and my card is my favorite and it did and when I ordered it I immediately used it so much and it was doing everything so well that I had to order another one <laughs> and also the price was really good the moment after I ordered these the price went up $50 each so I got it at a good time I got it at a good price I'm basically never gonna get rid of these and I probably could post videos for years on how tough this knife is but this is the knife I highly recommend I mean how to explain this this is sweet I actually do carry this a lot and it's fun and you don't have to worry about it rusting at all so this is a really good knife but this is like more than twice the price of one of these and let's just say this if you want one knife that will do everything I mean this actually doesn't rust as quick as people say not even close not even close but if you want one knife that will do everything that it pockets well is the easy to is easy enough to sharpen easy enough to maintain uh, looks good like looks do kind of matter right all those kinds of things this is the one this is the Benchmade Mini Adamas and don't hold back on this all right? I mean I just hit them against each other and I don't think there's any yeah nothing happened not even the tip is you can't dull this knife it's crazy anyway I hope that helps that's my morning coffee opinion <laughs>